Learn how to make the best tall and fluffy chocolate souffle. Check this out. Hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today we're making chocolate souffle. This is easier than you think. A lot of people are intimidated by a chocolate souffle, but we're gonna share all of our secrets to get it to rise beautifully. It's really simple, you're gonna love it. And we're recreating this based on our favorite steakhouse chocolate souffle, which is like $15 for one serving, okay? This is way less expensive. To make it at home, we're gonna make six of them all at once. And you can even make this ahead if you really wanted to, to make your Valentine's Day or any special occasion just that much easier. So let's get started. And if you haven't already, make sure, make sure, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon so you get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll start with some quick prep. You'll need to generously butter six eight ounce ramekins. When buttering the sides, make sure to use upward strokes. This will help the souffle to climb up and out of the dish. Once those are generously buttered, you're gonna wanna coat them with sugar. Add some sugar to each dish, turning the ramekin to coat, then tap out the excess. You wanna make sure to get an even coating of sugar all the way to the top of the dish. Set those aside, then preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit with a rack in the bottom position of the oven. I do like to use an oven thermometer to make sure my oven is fully preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I will link to that thermometer and all of our favorite tools in the notes. You're gonna need a water bath to make the souffle. Place a saucepan on the stove with two cups of water and bring it to a simmer. In a large rimmed heat proof mixing bowl, you're gonna need eight ounces of bittersweet chocolate. You can either chop that up or break it into small pieces so that it melts faster. You'll wanna get a chocolate bar that has 60 to 65% cocoa content. This will give you intense chocolatey flavor. Also, cut up and add eight tablespoons of softened unsalted butter. You can see our water is just at a simmer and you'll wanna adjust the temperature to keep it at a simmer. Place the mixing bowl over the steam, making sure that it's on the steam and not touching the water. Stir that together until the chocolate and butter are melted and well combined. Also, be sure not to get any steam or water inside the bowl, which can break the chocolate mixture. As soon as the chocolate is melted, immediately take it off the heat and let it rest for five minutes. Meanwhile, separate your eggs. You'll need six large room temperature eggs. Add the egg whites to a large mixing bowl. And once the chocolate mixture has been resting for five minutes, you're gonna add the yolks. Whisk the egg yolks into the chocolate mixture along with one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I love using my homemade vanilla extract. It's just two ingredients and I will link to it in the notes. Whisk just until the yolks are incorporated, then set it aside. Next, we're gonna beat six egg whites with half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. This helps to stabilize the egg whites once they're beaten for the best rise in the oven. Using an electric mixer, beat that on medium speed until soft peaks form, or about two minutes. With the mixer on, gradually add the sugar in a steady stream, then increase to high speed and beat until you see stiff peaks form and the mixture looks glossy and shiny. This takes another two to two and a half minutes. As soon as you see those stiff peaks, stop mixing. You also don't wanna over mix or it will become dry and difficult to incorporate into the chocolate. Fold one third of the egg white mixture into the chocolate to lighten it. Use a spatula to fold gently. You don't have to be overly careful. You just want it to be really well incorporated. Once the whites are incorporated and you have an even color, add another one third of the egg whites. Continue folding, scraping from the bottom of the bowl until the egg whites are well blended. You can see the color and texture of the mixture are getting lighter. You're gonna add that last one third of your egg whites. At this point, you're mixing gently, scraping it again from the bottom of the bowl to make sure everything is really well incorporated. And just as soon as you don't see any more streaks of egg whites, stop mixing. A souffle relies on the volume of the egg whites to rise properly in the oven, so make sure you don't over mix. 
That mixture looks really fluffy, smooth, and so creamy. We're gonna transfer that to the prepared ramekins. Divide the mixture evenly between your prepared cups, and I do like to use a trigger release ice cream scoop for even portioning, and it keeps the process a little cleaner. Make sure to use every bit of that chocolate mixture and fill these up almost to the top. To ensure these rise properly in the oven, one last very important tip, run your thumb around the inside edge of the ramekin, creating a little border about 1 4th inch deep at the edges. This encourages the souffle to rise nice and tall in the center. You can use a paper towel to wipe the dish clean if it got messy. Transfer that to the very bottom rack of your preheated oven and immediately reduce the heat down to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake without opening the door for 13 to 16 minutes. Once they've risen, it's safe to take them out of the oven. You also don't want to overbake because they're more likely to crack on top. Since souffles are best enjoyed fresh, while they're baking, I like to make the toppings so they're ready to go. To make a chocolate sauce, in a small saucepan, combine 1 3rd cup of heavy whipping cream, 1 tablespoon of granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add 2 ounces of semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate chips and stir until the chocolate is melted. The restaurant version is also made with a Grand Marnier whipped cream. In a large mixing bowl, combine one cup of heavy whipping cream with two tablespoons of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of Grand Marnier. This adds great flavor, but if you don't have it, you can also use half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat that together on medium speed until you see soft peaks, then increase to high speed and continue beating until medium stiff peaks form. Our toppings are ready and we're gonna check on those souffles. These have puffed beautifully. It's time to take them out of the oven and serve. All right, my favorite time of the day, the taste test. And you wanna have everything ready to go. So as soon as these are out of the oven, you wanna serve them right away while they have that nice puff. Cause as they stand, they do tend to sink down a little bit. So I've got my whipped cream, my chocolate sauce, and we are ready to serve. So let's do this. You can create a little well in the center so that you can pour the chocolate sauce inside, but I'm just gonna drizzle it on top, but it is a fun way to serve because it kind of gives it like a chocolate surprise inside. Okay, and be generous with that chocolate sauce because it is good and it just makes these over the top decadent restaurant style. I love when some of it is dripping down the side. Okay, and then our freshly whipped cream. Okay, you can pipe it on, but I find when you're making souffle, nobody has time for that. <laughs> so just give it a big, generous dollop of cream. Yum. But wait, time to dig in. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a bite because, ooh. A little chocolate on my finger, I don't mind one bit. <laughs> I'm excited. I love chocolate. Okay, here we go. Oh, and the texture. I mean, it's so soft and airy and fluffy. It's hard to believe there's no flour in this. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> oh. I mean. <laughs> Chocolate supreme. <laughs> this is so good. It's just such a treat. Wow, the texture. It is intensely chocolatey. I think that's the best way to, to describe this. And it literally just melts in your mouth. Just cloud-like, such a dream dessert. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this in private. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>